everyone and welcome to this book club tutorial where I will show you how to use our tool in only three steps and how to maximize your book club experience. Let's get started. But first, let's create our event. Once you're logged in, you'll be on the event interface where all the magic happens. First, click on create event. After that, you can give a name to your event in line with your course material. For example, I'll put general knowledge and then click here, save it. Now let's get on with our three simple steps to create your questions and launch your event. First step, let's create a question. Here you can see all the types of question you can ask to your participant, multiple choice, poll, final image, rating, etc, etc. If you want to make an MCQ type of question, for example, I click here and arrive on the question creation interface. Over here, I can type the question I want to ask. For example, who is the president of the United States? And here, I'll insert different answers possibilities. and click on the right answer. Then click on save and voila. Step two, change the event code. This code is unique and allows participants to log in to answer your questions. For example, I'll put Gen KL for general knowledge. Finally, for our last step, let's start our event. You can click on start to show the logging instructions to your participants. They can answer the question by going on this address by typing it or scanning the QR code. Your question will then appear and students will be able to answer your questions. By clicking here, the answer will appear live on the screen. And there we go, now you know how to use WooClub perfectly. Now, for the second part of this video, I will show you how to maximize your experience with WooClub. So, let's go back to the WooClub interface and go to the settings here on the right. Basically, WooClub has been created so that participants can participate anonymously and thus boost the participation of the shyest ones. But if you want to analyze the students' answers, there are multiple ways to get their identity information via authentication by email, social login, or SSO, or they can insert their username. Here, other parameters can allow you to make the results visible by default, as we did previously, so we can see the results directly live on the interface. The I'm confused button here allows students to notify teachers when they're lost, so that teachers know when they have to re-explain a section or a chapter. Finally, Book Club goes even further and allows teachers to analyze the answers to their question by exporting the results in Excel. Awesome, right? The grid mode allows you to analyze the students' questions one by one. The report mode allows you to make a synthesis of the answers to your event, which gives you a visual on the global understanding of the group. This way, if for example you see that 80% of the students have answered wrongly to some questions, you know that for your next class, you will have to go over these parts of the course again. Finally, you can add questions to your presentations. I click here. Your presentation can be a PDF, PowerPoint, or Keynote, or a Google slide. Click on Add Presentation and select the one you want to present. Let it load for a moment. When it's done, Click on Answer Questions. Here you can see the slides of your presentation and on the right, the question we just created. Click on the question you want to use and put it wherever you want to put it. You can put the question how to participate at the very beginning of your presentation so that the participants know from the very beginning how to participate. When you've done that, don't forget to save. There you go, now you know how to make your presentation more dynamic thanks to WooClub. 
Before ending this video, I would like to show you two very interesting features. Here you can see the message tab. This mode allows you to collect questions for participants. You can also enable likes, which allows participants to like a question if they have the same one, and images so that they can send you their answers with a picture. Just click here and you will be enabling it. A tutorial video is available on our channel if you want to learn more about it. Here, the participant pace mode uh, will allow you to create questions that students can answer at their own pace. For example, you can create a quiz as a homework assignment before or after a course. Another tutorial video is available for this feature on our channel. The links will be down below in the description. So here it is, you're ready to use WooClub perfectly for your next class. If you have any questions, please, you can access anything on our website. And if you just want to learn more about WooClub and its features, you can also check out our blog. Thank you for our attention. Bye bye.